Hello Year 10, it's Mr Holtam here. Today we're going to be going through a quick introduction on the app Snapseed. Um, so I'm going to need you to go into your app store and download the app. It is made by Google, so it's free on both Android and Apple devices. I'm using it on my iPad today, um, but it will work on mobile as well. When you've downloaded it, just tap open and then that will open the application and you'll be presented with a big plus sign in a circle. If you press on the plus sign, that's going to then load photographs from your photo library or camera roll for you to access. You can swipe across to look at photographs you've got in there um, and then just tap the one you want to work on. Now, I've taken a photograph here, um, which is an upside down letter A. I found it in the garden and I've deliberately underexposed this photograph to demonstrate to you how you can use this application to refine your images. OK, so when the image is loaded into the, the app, you'll be presented with a range of different looks. These are preset filters um, that I am not telling you to use. Um, I, I'm against using them because it takes all the creativity out of editing and refining your photographs. And for this task, this isn't necessary. So we are not using the preset filters at this stage. Um, I'm going to go to tools instead. Now, when you press tools, you'll be presented with a load of different tools that you can use to refine your photographs and add um, different elements to it. The first thing I need to do is rotate it because it's upside down. So I'm going to go to rotate. Um, when you've pressed rotate, you'll be presented with different options relevant to rotation. Um, I'm going to just press rotate right twice. And now you can see it looks more like the letter A. I'm happy with the rotation. So I'm just going to press the tick on the bottom right corner. When that's done, it will then take you back to the tools bar. Um, now, this is an underexposed image, meaning it's quite dark. So I need to increase the brightness um, and the contrast. So I'm going to show you how to do that. In the tune image option, you are presented with a different set of features for those image tuning options. So I'm going to brighten this image. Now, if you press and hold on the screen, you can slide left or right to increase or decrease the filter of the setting. If I decrease it, you'll see that the bar at the top goes to the left side of the screen um, and that's decreasing the brightness. Now, obviously, that's not what we want to do in this image. We want to increase it. So I'm going to swipe it right um, to increase the brightness. And I'm going to go to about 30 on this particular image. OK, we don't want to be going all the way to 100. Um, because it's going to distort the image further and we don't want that. We want to refine them to make them as good as they can be. So about 30, I'm happy with. When I've done that, I'm going to press adjust again because now I want to increase the contrast. So I'm going to go to the contrast and increase that a little bit as well. And again, about 20. I'm happy with 20 because what I'm doing is I'm adding more contrast. So the highlights are stronger. The shadows are a little bit stronger as well. And that's going to make the letter stand out more. Let's go to adjust again, and this time I'm going to increase the shadows, and that's going to brighten up some of those really dark areas. So I'm going to increase that now, and you can see the background is increasing. And again, I'm about, about going to about 30. I'm happy with that. Now, finally, I want to increase the highlights, and that's the really light areas. So if I increase there, about 20, you'll see the branches um, will just get that little bit of extra um, pop in them. So if you press and hold on the screen, it will take you back to the original photograph so you can see what adjustments you've made. And actually, I am much happier with what I've done to this image now. So I'm going to press the tick on the right and that will just save your adjustments. You can go back to tools and you can have a look at different options you can explore. But bear in mind, do not use preset filters at this stage. We are only looking to refine and um, tune the images slightly to make them better. OK. I'm happy with this image as it is for now, so I'm going to export it. And to do that, you just press the export on the bottom right and then press save a copy. If you press save, it will override the original photograph and save the edits to that photograph. Save a copy will create a new image for you to use. I'm going to press save a copy. When that's done, it will have saved into your picture library for you to then put into photo um, to PowerPoint which will allow you to um, collate all your images for your task. If you have any issues with this, please message your teacher on ClassChart and I'll get back to you with some help. Thanks, your tent.